today? Is it feeling different? Or? Uh, you know, it actually doesn't. I try to make it feel different for the guys a little bit. Uh, because it is, it's always an exciting time. Your adrenaline gets going a little bit. But the rules are so different now with what we can do in the summer and what we can do in the fall. And uh, But we do. We have an air of excitement about it's, it's almost basketball season. It's, I wish we could practice outside today, but uh, it's basketball season. It's right around the corner. What? You had a couple of guys, um, obviously key pieces of last year's team, Jessup and Hobbs, who had an off-season surgery. Um, how excited yeah. and, and do you think they're going to be this season to be on the floor healthy? You know, it is great, and I've seen a different difference in Justinian uh, just today, uh, day to day. And with Hobbs too, we just kind of got him out there going again. And, and I remember thinking, boy, it's nice to see Hobbs doing his Hobbs things. So you know, I, I expect great years from those two seniors. And, um, you know what Justinian played with last year when they when you see the pictures of what they took out of his leg it's really remarkable that he had the year that he had and credit to him that's that's that kid is so tough and you know it was always hard to figure out because he just wouldn't say anything and he wouldn't really tell you how he was feeling but you know in hindsight boy he was he was really hurt my, my favorite reference is because it's because of Drimmick, but I think about with J Jessup how he went from a shooter to a scorer Kind of like Anthony Dubs before he got hurt. What, what, what sort of transition is that like? And Justinian said it wasn't easy. Yeah, it's not because you know his his mo and his decision making. He's always making the right play. But as a scorer, sometimes you got to be a little more aggressive mm -hmm. and you got to be almost selfish. Where you know about every great scorer I've coached has a little bit of selfish, just that proper amount of selfishness. To I'm gonna go get one, you know and. They're going to have to make some tough shots now and then. So the tough shots might always be not the 100% right shot, but they're good enough to make them. And so it was a bit of a transition for him to, to understand that. And, you know, the other day we were, we were talking to him about, hey, you're the guy that we'd love you to take game-winning shots because you're going to make it. And so to do that, you got to be pretty aggressive with it. What aspect of this team most excites you? Uh, just all the pieces, you know, we've got a lot more choices as far as uh, it's not going to be all on one guy getting 25 every single night. I think we've got versatility that maybe I haven't had in a while. And, uh, you know, I think that's going to really, really affect uh, our guys that have proven night in, night out they can score. You know, it makes their job a little easier when you can't key in on Justin Ian when we got four other guys out there with him that can score. Shooting wise, too, where's his team going to rank uh, shooting wise? That, that's that's hard to say, you know, because I haven't seen. There's a lot of guys that haven't made shots in a Boise State uniform yet, uh, including some of the freshmen that are looking pretty good and they can make some shots. I know they're doing it in practice, but you know, you, you see when the lights come on. I think they, they've got some moxie and some confidence, and I'd be surprised if they didn't do it. But it is different, you know, when you get them out under the lights. I can see one aspect of this preseason that might be a little tricky. You've got uh, Abu who won't be eligible until the second semester, and then you kind of have to wait and see what happens right. with the manual. How do you approach that in practice? Yeah, do you plug you know, them in? Or? That is, that's a little bit tricky. You're right. And especially with what they bring, because what they bring uh, could really, really impact this team. And, you know, it's the first year we've played Mountain West games before Christmas. So what a bad year for that to happen, and the fact that we won't have a boo till you know that Christmas tournament. So, but that's just part of it. We just got to figure it out, and because you know he's a really he's a good fit for what we already had. You know we've had guys that you know our system know what they're doing, uh, but they're not as vocal and loud and aggressive as a boo is. So he kind of brings something that, that we're missing a little bit. What is the status with Acon? We don't know. Something. I I haven't talked to compliance today, and so I. I mean, are you hoping? Obviously, you want to know fairly soon so you can sure, start moving forward. Because, like you said, that that you know, uh, planning. It, there's a lot up in the air, and you know, both those guys can can really contribute. And I expect if both of them were playing, they'd have huge roles. And so, when when you when a guy like that is on the fence, it, it can as we get closer to games. It doesn't. I don't think it's that big of a deal for the next couple of weeks, but pretty soon you got to start slicing things up and figure out who's going to be out there. And, and so hopefully sooner than later. You look at these guys, and you go back to your first team, and uh, those guys are so young, and they kind of had to learn how to win. Oh, and boy. we talk with these guys, they just they, they feel like they've been battle tested. Yeah. I feel, I feel like they, their, their maturity will definitely help them this year. So how, how do you see that play? Uh, I agree, 100%. It, 
they went through stuff last year. And you know, every great team, every great organization at some point, they're gonna go through, we call the valley of death. Uh, we got that from Gordon Jones here in the college. And uh, that valley might be long, it might be short, it might be three games. Well, last year kind of was a season where they just kept battling and kept battling and you know, those guys showed character all the way through. Well, they're gonna come out on the other end and, and it's, because of that, those tests they had to go through that made them better and made them closer as a unit and they're gonna do everything in their power which was working hard in the summer, working hard in the fall, all those things that you need to do to be a great team. They've done that because of what they went through together. In your time coaching, have you had a guy quite like, like Derek Alston and the fact that when he came here as a walk-on, he was the, maybe the skinniest guy I've ever seen and he goes out there and has a year like that. I mean, yeah. his ascent is pretty remarkable. I mean, yeah. anybody comparable to that? Well, you know, you think back, you had a lot, we've had a lot of, this is what we, you know, James Webb. Sure. You would have saw sure. him the year we put him at the Juco right. and uh, the, the length that he came. And, you know, Chandler came such a long mm -hmm. ways. Now, he had a little more hype and a little more talent at, to, at the base, right. you know, because he wasn't as skinny as, as DA right. was. But, you know, the, it gives you a big sense of pride in that kid. And, He's worked for everything he's got, and he's going to continue to do that. And, you know, if he does, the sky's the limit for where he can go with the game of basketball. And that's what I'm excited to see this year. What did you learn about your team through last season, just th about these guys? And well, the, the out, you know, we always said, uh, we always said that good teams don't have clutter. And uh, we just had a little too much clutter last year. But I was proud, like, the guys that are here, and we had a lot of guys that just kept battling. And so I was really proud of that. The games were just probably a minute too long last year. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we can finish a little bit better this year. And, you know, but we've got a great nucleus back, and I think we added the pieces that, that complement the guys that we have back. So I'm excited to watch it. What was the clutter? Was that spacing on the floor, or was it other stuff? It was just, you know, it was just things, you know, the things that great teams don't do. And, uh, you know, that's the beauty of it is, is right now I've got – 15 guys pulling the rope in the same direction and maybe one of the hardest working collectively as a group, maybe the hardest working group I've had. And I think, you know, not only that, it's, it's you know, sometimes you get a group like that and there's not talent. Right. Well, this is this group has talent and hard work. So I think if we put that all together, you know, it, it could lead to some great things. Also knowing that maybe we have the toughest schedule we've had in school history with the preseason 